What's up, guys? It's Jay, more than I have to kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2, and this is episode motherfucking 45 of my motherfucking ultimate motherfucking boat on a motherfucking let's play. And the reason I said motherfucker a few times is because there are a few people that complain that they don't like the fact that I curse in my videos. And I, I do want to address that real quick. I want to say, hey man, hey man, lighten up, lighten up. We're just here to have fun, you know. I'm not, I'm not trying to fucking. I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not trying to bring you like the best fucking, like most professional quality content. You know what I mean? You know what? I'm just a dude sitting here playing the video games, getting my ass whooped because Gearbox likes me to get my ass whooped. <laughs> So, anyway, yeah, that, that's all I'm going to mention about that, you know. Uh, I, I will say that there are plenty of other YouTubers out there that do make some damn fine quality motherfucking videos. And they don't curse. So, if you do want quality motherfucking Borderlands content, there are plenty of places that you can find it on YouTube. And I do not have a problem with you checking out other YouTubers' content because that's what YouTube is for. I can't hold you guys' attention 20 motherfucking four hours a day. So I figure, you know, you guys are going to be watching other YouTubers. I'm not going to be offended by it. I know you guys watch Yote Slayer and Master Kids. I know even some of you guys watch e Fooly. What? I, I know a lot of people actually hate on e Fooly on the, uh, I'm stuck! I'm stuck. Get off me. <laughs> I didn't mean to I didn't mean to park there. I wanted to show you guys there's a little bit of a shortcut right here so you don't have to fight the witch doctors, but then I got attacked by the witch doctors. So it kind of like takes my pro tip and shoves it straight up my motherfucking candy ass and we took it back to the 90s with the rock because the rock is the most electrifying man in sports entertainment today. And uh I I like to think of myself as the rock of YouTube. <laughs> No, no I don't. I'm just fucking with you. I'm more like the Stone Cold Steve motherfucking Austin of YouTube, you know? We're, we're just here to say hell yeah, have a few beers, and shove my foot straight up. Wait, that, that's Rock again! Why am, I, <laughs> why am I saying the Rock again? What is wrong with me? I don't know. But yes, uh, we are here. We are making our final descent on the way to Jack... Uh, actually, the kill Jack's DNA or whatever, uh, actually to kill Professor Nakayama. I, I didn't want to give you guys a little bit of a fucking spoiler, but I think I've spoiled it in the past few episodes anyway, so yes, we're gonna go fight Jackenstein, which is a giant beast that is made from Jack's DNA, and it looks nothing like Jack, so don't get your fucking hopes up, it is just, it's just a dude with a Jack mask on his chest, <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, anyway, look, look at these motherfuckers, I think... I think we're going to have to ditch the infinity real quick and pull out. Where is my pimpernel? Where is, there's my pimpy. Look at that pimpy. <laughs> uh, this pimpernel, though, doesn't work as well as some of the others because it's not a gentleman's prefix. And a gentleman's prefix is what gets you to the high crit damage on that shit. But, uh, you know, well, uh, I tried to hit him with that fucking barrel. It didn't work. These guys are hard to hit with a crit, too, because they have masks on, so sometimes you won't even get a critical, even if it does see, yeah, it, it's it's not gonna work, so we're gonna have to, we're gonna get hit by that, too. Did you guys just see that? If you look up there, I'm gonna try to, there it is, to the left, you see it to the left of the Gentleman's Pimpernel? Oh, it is a Gentleman's Pimpernel, what the fuck am I talking about? You see that fucking, that, that is a, that is a pitchfork flying through the air, and it's gonna splash me in the face, and I'm gonna go, the fuck? Oh, <laughs> it didn't hit me. I said, what the fuck, anyway. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, uh, I did mention other YouTubers' channels. And uh, somebody somebody showed this to me today. I don't really want to mention it a lot. But uh, somebody, another YouTuber out there made a mention. Uh, they didn't mention me by name, but the fact that they, you know, they, they mentioned my video and they described my video to a T. I know it was mine. One of my subscribers showed it. They are actually subscribed to the guy. And uh, they're like, you know, hey, uh, check this out. This guy's talking shit about you. I don't give a fuck. I, you know, I don't care if anybody's talking shit about my videos, really. But the thing that really kind of uh, irked me when I watched this video is that he, uh, he made a mention saying uh, that I try to tell people that I play legit. But I post fucking glitches, so I'm a hypocrite. Motherfucker, I've never once said that I am a legit player on Borderlands. Uh, I do, uh, matter of fact, a lot of my subscribers, uh, 
or subscribe to my channel because I do duping sessions. And I don't, I don't hide that from anybody. I don't fucking, sure, I don't hack fucking guns into the game. And I play the fucking story mode, leveling up legit. Uh, that, that, that's what I mean by saying this let's play is legit, you know? Fucking, I wanted to go through this let's play with weapons that I got myself. And, you know, just have the whole fucking experience of leveling up in Borderlands again. Because I did enjoy that when the game first came out. But if you notice, like, when the game first came out, I was doing, like, Easter eggs and shit. Because I wasn't high enough level to know anything about the guns in the game and shit like that. And a few of the videos I made earlier in my, uh, you know, Borderlands career. <laughs> I, I say that in, in like, Scooby-Doo because it's not really a career. It's, it's, it's furthest from the fucking fact. But no, uh, I've never once made the claim that I am a legit player. I, I accept duped weapons from my fucking subscribers. We've... We've duped a lot of motherfucking weapons on my channel, in my channel time. And, uh, you know, that's why I said that I wanted to make sure that this game gets a few weeks of Ultimate Vault Hunter mode being out. So those people that do like to play legit can, like, and, and do like to trade, you guys can go ahead and get your, uh, you know, get your trading on and know that, like, there's not a plethora of, like, duped and leg uh, unlegit weapons out there right now at level 61. Because in the first two weeks of play, the only people that do really have level 61 legendaries are people that play the shit out of the game. And when I say, like, they know life the game, I, I mean, like, I'm not, I'm not coming at them hard. I'm not saying, oh, you're a no life. No, I'm just saying that they spend a lot of motherfuckers fucking time playing the game that's not a that's not a bad thing you know some people are blessed with the uh with with the luxury of free time i however am probably not one of those motherfucking people uh i, I do have a, a decent amount of free time in my life but that's only because you know fucking i made it that way i made my life that way to where you know i don't really have to work 20 motherfucking four hours a day to get by you know that that's a uh, now that's just how I'd like to get down. That's how I roll, right? <laughs> I'm tired of fighting fucking weapons. I want to find some ammo. Look at my my pistol ammo is really low. And it's it's going to be that way all the way through this area because there are a lot of witch doctors and shit up here. So uh but yeah, like I said, to, to those other people, I I'm not, I don't hate anybody or anybody you want to talk shit about my fucking channel. Go right motherfucking ahead. There's plenty of motherfuckers out there. That have, uh, you know, that have a problem with my channel. That, that don't like it. That don't want to watch it. And that's fine. I have no problem with that. That's the beauty of YouTube. If you don't like something, you don't have to watch it. It's not like regular motherfucking TV. Where, like, if you don't like something that's on the TV, you have to wait fucking three hours for something good to come on. No, you, you don't have to watch it here. You just, just fucking... You just keep going. You just keep fucking looking at shit that you want to fucking, uh... You keep looking at fucking videos you really want to watch. And that's how YouTube is. It's on-demand content. You watch what you want to watch. Which is why I don't understand why they have the whole likes and dislikes system. Because if you're watching something that you don't like, you know, fucking... What the hell is... What, what is... Why? Why are you watching something that you don't like? I don't, I don't understand that. Because you control... What you watch on YouTube, you really do. And look at... Uh, run away, bitch! He's seen the fucking Herald with the blade come out, and he was like, I am not fucking with that guy. He has the ugliest gun in the motherfucking world. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I say, like, those people that are, like, that fucking watch somebody's content, and they're like, hey, you know, I really would like it if you would do Call of Duty content. And I tell them, be like, look, there's Call of Duty commentators out there right now. Why don't you go, uh... You know, take a look at what they have to offer. You might find something you like, but as for me on my channel, like, you know, I'm not really a big Call of Duty fan, so I'm not gonna, you know, go and post something like that because it's just not something that I do. It's, it's not how I get down. It's not how I roll. So, yes, you control the content that you want. And that's why I, I ask you guys, like, for, like, my Borderlands content, what you guys want to see, what kind of series you guys like. Uh, you guys said you like the box looting videos I do, where I fucking go through the treasure rooms and shit like that. And I've been bringing you a lot more than that. Uh, I've been bringing you more than one of them a week, and uh, that's that's what you guys want to watch. And that's that's why that's why us get the fuck out of my face, you fucking asshole. <laughs> I don't know why I hit him with the Norfleet, but that was probably a little bit of overkill. Uh, oh look, oh look, it's a body disfiguration glitch. They always happen around here. Always, always happen. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Don't you, you don't get to do that, motherfucker. And you're slag. You're, you're not gonna live. 
You can't live when you slag, baby bear. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, uh, well, let's, let's go ahead and get some fucking health back from this motherfucker. Um, he's gonna try to hit me with plasma balls. I'm pretty confident that we could dodge them, slagging this motherfucker up. And, uh, yeah! Oh, no, no, no. I didn't expect that motherfucker to hit me that hard. <laughs> but yes, we have defeated the elites. Jumped over this motherfucker. BAM! In your face, bitch! In your face! <laughs> Look at that. Woo! I really, really, really had a bad feeling that he was gonna knock me off that cliff or some shit. I don't know why. Don't know why. Let's let's go ahead and get that fucking ruby out. Get ourselves some health back. And fucking but yes! Yes, I have I have never never covered up the fact that I am one to fucking, you know bang out glitches or show you guys glitches now it's like like as far as like shit like the evil smasher glitch no i, I don't I, I didn't use the evil smasher glitch as much as people think like i know a lot of people that the first thing they would do from joining the game you would see them fucking you know loading up the evil smasher the only time i ever loaded up the evil smasher is uh when i was farming for seraph crystals I would fucking, I would farm it with the fucking Evil Smasher glitch on Hyperius because he also does have a chance to drop legendaries, right? So that, that makes sense. It's an efficient farm right there. But, but, what, after I was done, before I picked up the Seraph Crystals, I would actually tweet out on Twitter, is there any subscribers out there that need Seraph Crystals because I have a bunch of them laid down and we're about to pick some up and like three or four of them. I actually met one of my subscribers, Tazman, that way. He's a... Uh, Really cool guy. And uh, Wizzy KT got, which is funny. Let me tell you a story about that. Uh, Wizzy has been a subscriber of mine since GCI. I, actually, I think maybe Battlefield, because I do have a few Battlefield videos. He has Battlefield videos on his channel. <laughs> uh, shit. But uh, yeah, I think I had him from Battlefield. And a uh, really good subscriber. I, I never really got a chance to game with him. And after a year of him, like, posting all my Q&As and shit, we finally met. And I felt bad because uh, I was reading his name wrong. It was really late and I was kind of drunk. And it, his name is Wizzy uh, TK God. But I was calling him Wheezy. And I thought he was one of my friends, Wayne, that I know who calls himself Wheezy. And fuck it. <laughs> uh, it, it was not Wayne. And I was like, yo, asshole. Are you there? Are you there, asshole? And fucking, I felt really bad afterwards because fucking, you know, I just sat there for about 10 minutes because he didn't have his mic in. Sat there for about 10 minutes before he put his mic, I'm pretty sure he put his mic in. I don't remember that part, but, uh, and he, uh, you know, I basically sat there and called him an asshole for 10 minutes because I thought he was my friend, which I felt really bad about afterwards. I really did, so, uh. It's actually pretty funny. That's that's one of the reasons why it's hard to be subscribers. Cause sometimes, sometimes I I might like fucking say shit that I won't say on my YouTube channel. Like I fucking you know I I, I make a fucking pussy joke or some shit or fucking blowjob joke, and, and and it'll be like blatantly either fucking you know sexist or fucking homosexual as fuck. Like I'm like oh yeah look at that guy. That guy has a fucking I don't know. I fucking I don't know. Me and my friends have a have a little bit of a joke where we just kind of kind of make the like try to try to fucking weird each other out with like the weirdest homosexual jokes you've ever heard in your life, and it, it carries on into the party. So that's why sometimes it can get a little awkward. And people were like, "Well, how much worse can you get from your fucking you know, YouTube channel in a party?" And I'm like, "Oh well, you 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 seriously have no clue how fuck you, motherfucker! Stop it!" Hey, 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 oh, you hit me with the fire melon. This guy just used up like three clips of my Herald. Three clips of my Herald, motherfucker. Let's... Boom, bitch! <laughs> love it. I love it. Give me your damn loot. Um, that's not good. I just attacked an explosive spore. Which is... That, that's a very bad thing to do in this world. Is to fuck with these spores! The spores! No, he's gonna come after me and blow me up. I know he is. Let's let's get out of here. He's gonna he's gonna blow it up. Ready? Oh no! He still sees me in deception. Did you see that? He knew where I was. That's not cool, bro. You're not allowed to know where I am. Zero's action skill is already probably one of the weakest in the game. It's probably one of the weakest in the game. I get five seconds to where I get to just run away. And, or melee somebody, which if I'm dying, 
is not a very big help. <laughs> if I'm dying, the only way that's going to help you is if you have a bladed ruby or you have a law and order. Fucking, the bladed ruby? Amazing for fucking... Why can't I... Really? I don't remember that. Hey! God damn it. But that's good, actually. That's good. Because this, there's a witch doctor up here, and I don't want to fight him. I really don't. And he's a demon witch doctor. So now that I have an elemental resistance of fire, he can't really do much. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Um, let's get the fuck out of here. Right up here is going to be where Veracitus' lair is. So, ah, no, I'm fucking stuck. I can't get out of here. That was, I, that is fucked up. <laughs> that fucking hurt. So let's go ahead and put these on, because there's going to be Skay Lions all up in this motherfucking area. And, uh, yeah, there they are. Look at that. Fucking motherfuckers. Uh, that's not really helping much anymore. So, do we have anything else corrosive? Corrosive? Yeah, we have a 55 Pimpernel. That might help out a little bit. Hey, 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 hey. Stop it. <laughs> See? Yeah, there we go. That shit just... Why did he just do a barrel roll? Did you see him do a barrel roll? I seen him do a barrel Oh, motherfucker. Um, you know what? Fuck it. We're just going to use up everything we got ammo-wise. Because it really doesn't matter. There is a box over here that I could purchase ammo from by Veracitus. So that'll be fine. That'll be fine, motherfuckers. You guys can't fuck with me. And then, uh, I, I know this episode might be a little bit longer. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to end this episode out... Right before we fight Jackenstein, because uh, Jackenstein is a little bit of an asshole. He really is. Uh, to to beat him, it's gonna take a few tries because it took me a few tries with my uh, siren, and she was level sixty one with appropriate gear, and uh, she had a herald too. So I, uh, and I used the herald on uh, I used the herald and the sandhawk, and uh, I'm pretty sure I will be able to. I'm not gonna spend money on rockets. Uh, we are very low on the money uh, right uh, now. And actually, god damn it! No! No, I took my Rocketeer off and I put it on my Siren. I put it on my Siren when I was making the Veracitus video. No! <laughs> that is bad. That is bad. So, uh, you know what? You know what? I think, I think we could make it. I think I don't I don't think we're gonna need a North Fleet for that fight anyway. Because really, for Jackenstein, uh a North Fleet's not gonna help you. You're not gonna get up with a North Fleet. Uh well, you might with the uh fucking I guess what do you call that? Uh I don't I don't know what to call that. Oh yeah, fucking the robots. Why did I I just drew a big mind fart right there, like it was like nope, you don't get to uh Say this word today. You don't. We're not gonna let you remember it. Your mind is just gonna go fart, and while you're fighting a big ass slagged skay lion, and that, that's a that's one of the hardest parts about this actual series is not talking for this long. I could talk for fucking hours. All right, you guys see it in my Q and A let's plays. Although I do take breaks to go get a drink or take a piss, or sometimes I gotta take a shit. Sometimes I gotta take a shit. And oh no, he said shitting in his fucking video. We all shit. YouTubers shit. You don't think Jenna Marbles fucking doesn't eat a steak and she, she goes in her fucking bathroom and she fucking, even Taco Bell, like, could you imagine that she'd be sitting on her fucking toilet just blowing fucking ass chunks after ass chunks right out of her fucking ass into the toilet with phenomenal force and speed. <laughs> you know, they're just, you know, they're just fucking people shit. People shit. We all shit. You remember that fucking, there is a fucking... A book about that back when we were kids. It was called Everybody Poops. Everybody Poops. Everybody Poops. Sometimes. That was an REM reference. Did I just do an REM reference? Where did that come from, Mac? This ain't 93. You ain't losing your religion. What are you doing, man? <laughs> and that's a... Oh, shit, 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 shit. How am I slagged? Is there a spore around me? I think there might be a spore around. Oh, that's bullshit. I didn't see the witch doctor behind you, but that's all right. Because you, you, you're going to die too. So are you. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Well, give me that iridium. Yeah, look at this motherfucker. He's just come walking calmly. Ready? Three, two. Ah! 
Oh, 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 hey, 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 don't, you don't get to do that to me. You're done. Boop, right in the head. In the back of the head, motherfucker. Look at your purple bitch ass. Bitch, you ain't no slag, super badass witch doctor. You know what you are? You are a bitch. You, you know what he is? He reminds me of a tribal version of Grimace from Ronald McDonald and Friends. <laughs> the big purple fat guy. That was that, that. That was actually a really racist character too. Uh, you, you can't just he, he was this is really racist. That's why they took Grimace away. Grimace is not allowed to advertise for McDonald's anymore. Uh, last I heard, Grimace is actually I think I think he's living somewhere down South Florida uh, in a retirement village. <laughs> what the, oh shit! What is wrong with me? What is wrong? You, let me tell you something. Oh, we got purple shit in here. Contemptible spy. Thank you. No. <laughs> but, uh, hold on. Fucking. What was I told? Oh, yeah. When I worked at Burger King. He worked at Burger King? Yeah, I worked at Burger King when I was 16 motherfucking years old. When I worked at Burger King. Fucking. I'm proud of that shit, too. I'm proud I worked at Burger King. Because I had a job at 16, motherfucker. I had a job. What did you have? You got a job at 16? No, no. Don't fucking talk shit then. <laughs> But actually, hold on. We got a slow hand. Let's see how the slow hand does. Yeah, baby. All right, it's not too bad. Hey, it's it's not the greatest. I'm not really feeling it. Let's uh, let's get up here before we die. Let's get up here before we die. <laughs> oh shit. That's not good. This is a uh, this is where it gets intense. But yes, when I worked at Burger King, holy shit, there is an application that somebody put in for, you know, an application for a job. And they were trying to get hired there, and it wasn't really an application, it was actually a troll job. Somebody came in, trolling back in the day, and they put an application in, and it said their name was Ronald McDonald on the application, and it had all sorts of funny shit, like, he was like, uh, I got my, uh, there... <laughs> It was funny as shit. He said uh, he went to Hamburger College. Uh, he lived on McNugget Lean. Fucking. He, uh. Oh, man. It was just. It was absolutely a riot. The shit that was on here. And it said, uh, do you have any experience with Burger King? And he said, yeah, I had an affair with the king in the late 70s. <laughs> it was fucking hilarious. Hilarious. But, yeah. Boom. We need to do that to get the fuck away from here, man. This is not good. Get out of my face, man. Get out of my face. Oh, no, he's leveling up. Too bad he's slagged. And this guy, this is the one we need to fucking put down. All right, he's hurt. He's hurt. Let's hope he doesn't fuck. Yeah. Woo, baby. And this is what I was saying right here. This is what I don't like. The fact that, like, you know, I got this practical slow. Well, it's not a potential slow hand. I'm sorry. It's not a very, uh, not a very good fucking, not a very good piece of machinery there. Uh, and it's, it's a level 58. That should have been doing a little bit better. It did nothing. Absolutely trash. And, uh, that sucks. That really does suck. But where's my corrosion at? Where's my corrosion? I have a corrosive pimpernel. Yeah, there's gonna be robots coming up here. But yeah, this is why I said I kind of like weapon proficiencies more. Because even though you might get in weapon profici ah, proficiencies, you might get pigeonholed into using one subset of group of, uh, you know, weapons. Like how I use pistols all the time on Zero. It would be like that. But now, I am actually fucking... Let let's just run past these motherfuckers. Fuck this shit. I ain't fighting them fucking assholes. Fuck you. Do I have to fight them? Are they gonna run away? Can I can I go back this way and they'll disappear? Yes! Yes, I can. There you go! Another pro tip, baby. You don't have to fight them motherfuckers. Fuck them assholes. Let's just go. What did he say the code was? One, three, four, right? One, three... I'm pretty sure he said one, three, four. We'll know as soon as that light turns green. But yeah, at least with weapon proficiencies, when you get a... When you get pigeonholed into one group of subset of, uh, you know, weaponry, that's, uh, 
it's not so bad because there's a lot of different pistols that you can use out there to actually, you know, gain a little bit of an advantage. But with uh, without weapon proficiencies, I'm stuck using my level 58 Herald because it's really the only weapon I got that's actually effective against any type of enemies right now. So, uh, with that said, my name is Jay. More than after kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. This was episode 45 of my Ultimate Vote Hunter motherfucking Let's Play. And uh, we are going to be fighting Jackenstein, the boss, in the next episode. After we crawl through this little motherfucking shaft. Don't give me the shaft. Don't give me the shaft. <laughs> oh, you want a little bit of in, out, in, out? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so... Thanks for watching. If you could throw a thumbs up on this video, I would highly appreciate it because it does give me the motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers out there watching my motherfucking videos. So like I said, my name is Jay Morton. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'm going to see you guys later.